million dollar distinction. Channel 9 Eyewitness News reporter Adam Bacali explains why some say possible plans to tear down a landmark aren't so great. Adam. In 2005, Sioux City was named one of three Iowa great places. And now the same people who gave the area the honor have drafted this letter saying that it could be taken away if nothing's done to stop the historic Willigus building in downtown Sioux City from being bulldozed to rubble. The knives are in full swing for chef Marlon Simpson and his assistant Sarah doing prep work in the kitchen at Fiona's Bistro located inside the old firehouse on Floyd Boulevard. We have a great food. We have great... Now all quiet tonight. We're down to 52... Parking lot. We need to add to our campus and we need to add to our safety factors. The restaurant and the outdoor farmer's market got about $110,000 in Iowa Great Places grant funds. It will allow us to do some development in areas that I don't think would have been developed, at least in the near future, if we had not had that funding. With plans for a surface parking lot at the farmer's market, a new more than half million dollar Iowa State University affiliated architecture building, and the moving of a museum among the upgrades, the Iowa Great Places grant is all about one thing. To basically gel the downtown and gel portions of the downtown together and give us the ability to focus efforts. But the wheels of improvement may come to a screeching halt because of what could happen to the historical Willigus building. Great Places committee leaders say plans to demolish the structure by its owner, Security National Bank, could hurt Sioux City's distinction as a great place with the demolishing of the old terracotta, synonymous with the legacy of the old Sioux City style. And that means no great place title, no million dollars in grant money. Obviously, it's Security Bank's prerogative to do that, but uh, to have it torn down within weeks of the architecture school opening kind of gives the city a black eye. The farmer's market is utilizing the great places funds now, but they say they hope other local businesses will also be allowed to take advantage of the grant money, helping raise Sioux City's appeal. I spoke to a Security National Bank official today. He says they're committed to keeping the historical integrity of the Willigus building and are now leaning towards saving the terracotta and integrating it into the elements of a new parking facility. Thanks, Adam. The Historical Preservation Society says they've tentatively scheduled an emergency meeting about the building that's scheduled for May 23rd. The legacy of a fallen Siouxland soldier is living on through the future of a family member. Tonight, Blake Shields drug conspiracy and money laundering. Today, his attorney filed a notice of appeal with the 8th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in St. Louis. No word when the court could hear hometowns. In Sioux City, you've seen it on the racetrack on Sundays. Now it's time to see it up close. Ryan's GPS tracking device, but Matheson Jr.'s lawyer says his client didn't provide his, his brother with those cutters. In his motion, the lawyer also says the woman who fled with Ryan Matheson got a suspended sentence despite her active role in the disappearance and he believes his clients dozens of people stop by your face is up to 10 years in prison one sentence next week police need your help to find a 40 year old spencer iowa man missing for nearly a week michael durham went out to buy in lamar's floyd been seen since michael also suffers from bipolar and obsessive compulsive disorders his parents say they didn't expect him to be gone long because he left without his medication and without his cell phone which is even more disturbing, he has not accessed his de debit card. I, have, I can go online and, and see if he's spent any money. He has not. Michael Durham is 6'4", 270 pounds with tattoos on his forearms. He was driving a 1996 plum-colored Dodge Grand Caravan, license plates MKD, with a decal on the back window. Police say if you spot him, don't approach him. Call law enforcement instead. The Pentagon lays down the law when it comes to troops using video web sites like YouTube and MySpace. The reasons why and why some Iowa families aren't happy about it. Still ahead. And are we going to be even cooler than what we were today anytime soon? We'll tell you more about that in the weather, and that is coming up next. You're watching Siouxland's News Channel with Christy Vermillum, Matt Breen, Chief Meteorologist Ron DeMars and Sports Force with Brad Pouch. This is KTIV News Channel 4 at 10. Mm hmm Huh. Okay, 14 years in Congress, UN Ambassador, Secretary of Energy, Governor of New Mexico, negotiated with dictators in Iraq, North Korea, Cuba, Zaire, Nigeria, Yugoslavia, Kenya, got a ceasefire in Darfur. 
nominated for the Nobel.